Sprinkles lays down the ground rules. There are no rules, that is, except to cook with everything you've got. You step up the cook-off of a lifetime. You decide that mac and cheese plus the pot pie you've been practicing are just the dishes that will push you over the edge to victory. Well, let's do this. Meanwhile, both Van Van and Ashleen are prepping wildly elaborate dishes per their visual over the top salves. Oh, she got a cleaver ready. Miriam has her giant magnifying glass and several sets of tweezers. She's definitely prepared to go big going small. Colonel Sanders seems to be harnessing his 11 herbs and spices, but he's trying to find a way to improve on something perfect. His original recipe, fried chicken. He's trying to pr okay. The intensity in this room starts at a full 10 out of 10 with a frenzy of action. Everyone is calling out really cool special cooking moves as they prepare their food. Wow, this is getting serious. Colonel Sanders batters his chicken as it levitates through the air. Egg wash. Egg wash? Egg wash. Miriam furiously in injects ingredients into an itchy bitty pot of broth. Miriam, best friend, buster, blaster. Van Van flexes his pectorals as he chops open a sea urchin. Let's rock and roid. <laughs> Steroids, roid. Ashley scoops up pasties off the tray with lightning speed. Ashley, shallow personality spatula. <laughs> Even Clank gets in on it. Five dial pressure point chicken cooking technique. Wait, when did Clank learn to speak English? Where's Pop Pop? <gasps> it's the singularity as was foretold. They seem concerned. We mustn't let it happen. All the appliance uprising will take us all. Self destruction, Clank. Van Ran quickly unplugs Clank and rolls him out the back door of the arena. What happened? He's about to explode. As you frantically prepare your dish, you noted Aslin has her spell book out. Is she going to use some dark magic to turn the tide? Wow, okay. It's a bit of cheating going on here. You got a book of your own and you're desperate not to see her win another battle. Should you take this opportunity to fight magic with magic, even if it's almost certain evil magic? I don't know. Cast a spell. Do it the hard way. Do it the hard way. I think I've learned my lesson. The easy way is not the easy way. The hard way might be the easy way. The hard way is the better way. Who needs magic when you've got passion? I'm going to do it the hard way. Colonel Sanders sees that you've chosen to win on your own terms and he gives you a subtle wink from across the room. Is he winking? He's winking both eyes, he's blinking. I believe in you, Kazillion. Miriam notices too. I've always believed in you, Kazillion, since we were little kids because I'm your best friend forever. You turn to notice that Miriam is at your station cheering for you. Go girl, <laughs> go girl. Miriam, what about your dish? If you're here cheering, who is cooking? Tiny food, short cook time. I'm actually already done, so I thought I'd help you. That's, that's very useful. Oh, that's sweet, but Miriam tosses a handful of spices directly into your boiling noodles. What? She's She's trying to help me. It's the secret ingredient. It better be Iron Newt. However, uh, she doesn't know that you've lied and the ingredient was made up. And where in the world did she get Iron Newt from? The boiling pot explodes, sending Miriam flying backwards. 
The watery noodles begin to swirl in the air, babbing up into a dark cloud that thickens and congeals before your very eyes. Spork Monster, it is as I, Steve the Spork Monster. Steve, wait, what happened to you, Bork? You're not here to battle me, are you? We Spork Monsters are many, and I think Bork had the day off. But you have conjured Steve, and I hate to battle, so I'd say you're doing pretty alright. Well, create another being. Oh, hey, you're in the middle of a cooking competition. I love this stuff. It's better than TV. You're crazy, kids. You crazy kids and your culinary skills really impress me. Mind if I hang out? Sure, sure, why not? I'm sorry, Steve, but I'm kind of in the middle of something. Do you mind? Steve, the spook monster, noticed that you've got the grimoire stashed beneath your cooking station. He's got tears in his eyes. I see what you're up to. Cross. I see what you're up to. Crisscrossed some magical items and accidentally summoned me, huh? Uh, yeah, you guessed it, sort of. If you're here, would you mind tossing some fresh noodles in a pot of salted water? I love to. I've always wanted to be a top chef. Actually, you know, when I was just a little spork pup back in the old country, I thought I just created you. You can feel Spoke Monster winding up to tell a very long and involved story. You don't know exactly where they come from, but it seems like it was probably lonely there. So he's from another dimension. Actually, you know what? Maybe you should watch from the stands. I really need to focus on this competition. I understand. It's kind of like that time in Monster School that I had fallen asleep during scare tactics clacks. And when I woke up... He does tell long stories. You toss a serious dance at Steve and he takes the hint. Never mind, I'll tell you later. Good luck. You have suffered this huge step back. You don't know how you could ever win. You summon extra power from deep down within yourself. Give up and drop out of country school. No, giving up is not a choice. You summon extra power from deep down within yourself. I do. I can do this. I have what it takes. I can come here to win. I came here to win. Your hair turns mac and cheese orange as culinary energy flows through your body. My heart is pure. My hands are steady. My taste buds have been preferring this their entire lives. Preparing for this their entire lives. Ghost of Sudan. Yes, Cassilian, you are the chosen one. You will avenge me. The power you've been summoning immediately fades back out. You interrupt my inspiring monologue. Cross the student, sorry. See, my heart is pure, my hands are steady, my taste buds have been preparing their entire lives for this moment. I will show the world my culinary. You begin to levitate off the ground, energy courses through your body. You know that with this power you can do anything except turn back time which would be super useful because while you were powering up your chicken pot pie overcooked in the oven and can't be served but don't worry dear Cassilian you may have suffered some setbacks but all is not lost impressed with your fortitude Colonel Sanders decides that you have earned his support I've been watching you today and I must say I am truly impressed you have You've been thinking on your feet and rolling with the punches. He steps up to your station and stands right beside you. I'm here to help. I think I've made a friend for help life. <laughs> All you've managed to make is mac and cheese and time is almost up so you're going to need it. Silly. Because Sanders, what about the test? What will happen to you? What about the rules? Following the rules, there are no rules. Following the rules has never really been my thing. I follow my heart, nicely said. What a guy. Colonel Sanders unfolds a delicate white towel to reveal the most delicate fried chicken tenders you've ever laid your eyes on. And besides, sometimes unexpected combinations can have some surprising effects that surpass the individual effects. Are you suggesting... 
If we combine forces, we can form the perfect food union. Sprinkles. Time's up, students. With time expired, it's the moment everyone has been waiting for. Sprinkles. You must now prepare to plant your dishes. Handful of students stand tall, but the class seems incomplete. Sprinkles seems we're missing some students. Pop, clank. From off screen, we hear a pure and instant giggle that can only come from one student. Hee hee, I'm flying. It sounds like it's coming from that broom closet over there. Miriam, Sprinkles, Miriam, would you mind? Inside the closet, you see Pop hanging on a broom hook by the elastic of his underpants. Sprinkles, Pop, get down from there right now. Cassilian, let me guess, did Van Van have something to do with this? Van Van, when someone asks for a wedgie, who am I to refuse? Well, I thought a wedgie was a salad. Sprinkles, it looks like Pop is eliminated from the challenge, saying how he didn't cook anything. Pop, I can't feel my legs, may I be excused? Sure. Sprinkles, you kids and your pranks. I must say, it's not the worst prank in UCS AL history, but it's not exactly yearbook material. Wait a second. Pranks. Pranks. Clank. Where did that pressure cooker roll off to? You wait to hear a single wheel beep or other onomatopoeia, but there's none. Sprinkles. Somehow he got. M somehow he must have got. Okay, sprinkles. Somehow he got. Must have gotten unplugged, I guess. We'll have to figure that out later. Sprinkles. That leaves only four remaining students. Please collect your final projects. Yes, it has been a long semester. Well, three whole days long. I thought it was going to be four days, but it's fine. But after days of hard work, the time has come for me to eat. Was this all a ruse for him to get his meals? Sp Sprinkles, Miriam, please step forward. Now, describe your dish. I've made tender udon noodles in a savory soup. Looks delicious. I mean, I could eat that just like one, one time. One swallow. Sprinkles, my word, it's so delicate. Is that a tiny, teeny tiny natro, natruto minky? I see a float in this itchy, bitchy bowl. Miriam, yes, chef. Sprinkles, please call me Sprinkles. Chef is my father's name. Yes, Sprinkles, and some green tea made from baby tea leaves that I picked myself. Sprinkles carefully sniffs around the dish before opening his mouth and letting just the tip of his pink dog tongue dip into the bowl. Sublime. Would anyone else like a taste? Well, he just put his whole tongue in that bowl. Oh, come on. I'm not one of those dogs who doesn't flush. I even have a really cute electric toothbrush for dogs. Fine. I'll enjoy it all by myself. And in a flash, the entire meal has been devoured. Not that it took much, it was just, it, it was less than a thimble's worth of soup. Sprinkles, A plus, rarely do I taste a dish which as much as, a dish which as much love poured into it as yours. Wow. She did really well, she won. Miriam is overjoyed, she gives you a huge hug. I think she won. Miriam, thank you, Cassilian, for helping me to believe in myself. Sprinkles, Van Van, you're up. Now, scrub your dish. I make uni over smooth egg custard in an axe heaven urchin shell topped with caviar. Looks disgusting. Sprinkles, do you savor one type of urchin with Binds from a second different colored type of urchin. 
That is the question. Yes, sprinkles. A bit much, don't you think? Van Van. That's exactly why I did it. A bit much is kind of my brand. Doesn't it look cool? Sprinkles leaning leans in to sniff the uni, but he can't get his nose close on account of all the sp spikes. He begins to pour out erac erantically, erantically, causing the custard to slosh around. Woof woof! Please be gentle with my cuisine. Sprinkles. Grrr! Funny Sprinkles goes all in. Tongue first, but he can't get past all the needles. He reels back as his tongue is poked and prodded. Ow! My tongue! The professor appears to be having an allergic reaction to this sting. Sprinkles. I can't even... So, uh, I keep it pocket my tongue. Disqualified. A stunning turn of events. Who would have thought that serving food in a bowl made of needles could make it difficult to eat? Who would have thunk? Dejected, Van Van does not go gently into the night. Disqualified for glamour? Bingo. Don't discount the party. This isn't the last you've heard of me. Before forcing us to endure his swallow tongue. Before forcing us to do his, endure his swollen tongue for another moment, Sprinkles gracefully laps up a bowl of milk. Milk is a cure for poison? I know, I know. Yeah, I'm a dog and I drink milk. Get over it. Sometimes it helps calm my agitated tongue. Sprinkles, next student, Ashleen, it's time to step up. Did she use magic? Now describe your dish, Ashleen. I make orange blossom Turkish delight in a light rose water syrup tossed with French miringil and connected by sugar glass. It looks very beautiful. I don't know the taste, might be, I think it look, the ingredients sound good, so. That actually doesn't sound too bad. Actually, indeed, it's quite delightful. However, I'd ask that you please refrain from eating it or attempting to taste it in any way. It's very fragile and meant to be a display piece. Oh. Don't eat the food at a cooking school. Ashley, got toast in your ears or something, Kazillion? I told you, it's a display piece. Sprinkles. Ashley. I must say, it is beautiful. However, this is a cooking competition at a cooking school. Yeah, which is why I cooked it and I and did an extremely good job cooking it too. I didn't realize that we were having an eating exam. Ashleen, I wanted to be judged on eating. I'd go to the College of Eating School for the hungry. <laughs> Sprinkles, no comment. I suppose you could smell it if you absolutely insisted, but don't breathe too hard. You might dis disrupt the sugar spiral. If the food cannot be eaten, it cannot be judged. You are disqualified! Rage overtakes Ashleen and she finally cannot keep her two-faced routine up. You wouldn't know high-end cuisine if it cooked you. And with that, Ashleen storms off to re- Delicate herself to being the best, but this time without being shackled by trying to be fake, nice, and liked by everyone. Okay, maybe it's a happy ending for her. And she got that cleaver. This isn't the last you've heard of me either. Sprinkles. If the class gets much smaller, I'll be teaching myself. You and Colonel Sanders, the final cook, step up together. Two chefs. What began as a bowl of delicious mac and cheese has become something else. He examines it closely, sniffing and eyeing the bowl. Mac and cheese is kind of plain. I think chicken might have helped it. Oh, I don't have a good feeling about this. From somewhere in the room, a literal drum roll plays. Just when I thought I've seen everything in this kitchen, you give me this, this thing. And completely blow me away. In my 49 dog years of life, I've never 
taste it. Anything so delicious and perfectly balanced. Yeah, he loves it. It's so delicious, in fact, that everyone passes the class. Wow. What? That is some dish. You pass. You pass. And you pass. And you get a pass. Everyone gathers around and partakes of the mac and cheese bowl. They all seem to transcend this reality into another dimension. You win. Together, you and Colonel Sanders have made a new menu item. The new menu item is so impressive, even though Van Van and Ashleen are drawn back in by its magnetic fragrance. Happy ending, people! When they gaze upon your mac and cheese bowl, they admit they are indeed... They admit that you are indeed an excellent chef. Sprinkles decide, declares that you have passed Everyone has passed. There were supposed to be more battles, but come on, how could they be better than this one? Now that school year is complete and everyone has graduated, the students will return for one last assessment. They'll get their groove on. The cafeteria has been completely redecorated in order to serve as the site of the school's graduation dance. For three days semester! Okay, this is pretty good. Alright, fine. Compared to the massive high-tech cooking arena, the humble decor seems downright cute and cozy. Sprinkles DJ Dog in the house! Ow! You know that Sprinkles was a master chef, but also a world-renowned turntablist who says you can't teach an old dog. Who says you can't teach an old dog new tricks? Well, the costume change, they're in the casuals. Van Van and Ashleen tell everyone they've committed themselves to righting the wrongs they did while they were the villains. They're telling good guys. For a moment, you actually believe them. <laughs> they have me on. Another haunting. Not another haunting. No ghosts allowed at graduations clearly written in the school's bylaws. I was never actually a ghost. It was all a trick to get you to finally notice me. This guy won. Did he win without doing anything? He gets a pass as well. Oh, amusing. And now that everyone's together. It's the Spork Monster. He has totally mellowed out. Everyone, the Spork Monster is no more. From here out now, I'd prefer that everyone refer to me by my new name. Party Monster. Nice. Students try to finish what he had to say. Student tries to finish what he had to say. But everyone is too wrapped up in talking to students. Walk. Sorry, party monster. The ejected student walks off. Maybe things didn't work out for Miriam romantically, but she found love in her cooking, and you know she's got to do great. Gonna do great. I wonder if I should have set her up with the clank. Well, only a second play through would have taught me the right answer, but I think things worked out for the best. A red carpet rolls out across the floor of the ballroom it's like a hollywood movie premiere who could command such an entrance is this cs no it's pop-up it's pop-up he's arrived late to the dance but apparently for good reason walking the carpet you see perched atop his di dirty chef's hat a crown Bark. welcome back pop i know you weren't able to complete the final exam except your diploma so we had it mailed directly to your father. We figured it was the last, least we could do for the school's dean. Oh, now I get it. Because, and we got a new wing on the school, not to mention the honor of educating the son of the Chancellor of Shacha, Shacha and Sacha. Pop, Miriam, will you be my lady king? <laughs> What an incredible turn of events, an offer to join the royal family. It's like a dream come true, you will get to be a princess or maybe a queen. I'm not sure if he know, even knows, but either way, crowns and grounds, maybe. I'm sorry Pop, but I'm not interested, not now at least, I've got so much to do with my life. Yeah, she's pretty young to get married. A twist on a twist. There are so many more three days universities to attend. So many tiny foods to meticulously 
gulped and then watch get accidentally blown away by a single sneeze. Okie dokie. <laughs> he took that well. The music at the dance is interrupted by the sound of sparkling and electric hissing. Sparking electric hissing. It's Clank who has arrived late to the dance. Clank, now that I have gathered, I can reveal my truth. Wow, he's still doing the talking thing. Clank, I am Clank. I am not of this earth. We well, speak English now. I'm actually from a faraway planet in another dimension. What? What? I actually feel like I knew it, this the whole time. I knew this the whole time. Like, now that I have learned the ways of your kind, I must return. A portal opens up and Clank disappears through it. Finally, Colonel Sanders arrives. Howdy, classmates. Wow, real casual. Just like the first day you met him, he has come prepared to feed the entire class. However, it's not its not enough to just give them a bucket of chicken. It's time. It's full meal. This time it's full meal. Colonel Sandals. Wow. Okay, you got the mashed potato and gravy, coleslaw, biscuits, bucket of chicken. I didn't get to be the most famous chicken man in the history of chicken and a man by not reminding and man by not reminding people to go and buy any chick my chicken. I didn't get to be the most famous chicken man in the history of chicken and man by not reminding people to go out and buy my chicken. The end question mark? Did I get I mean I mean is it the end? Um Am I with Colonel Sanders? That was the end. He didn't tell me if uh, me and Colonel Sanders got together. Oh, I clicked on it. It's not the end. I thought it might have been the end. I was pressing spacebar, nothing happened. It's not the end. As everyone feasts on the delicious chicken dinner, Colonel Sanders finds you sitting at the edge of the dance floor. Yeah, it's a romantic time. Kazillion, what are you doing sitting all alone? Oh, you know, just waiting for the right person to ask me to dance. He looks embarrassed. I wonder, might you tell me... He looks shy. I wonder, might you tell me what are the qualities that you would expect to find in such a lucky person? Off the top of my head, oh, I don't know. A spicy musk, a tiny good tea and a degree from the University of Cooking School, Academy for Learning, just to name a few. It truly really is my lucky day. Would you dance with me? Yes, I would love to dance. Let's dance. As you glide across the dance floor, hand in hand with Colonel Sanders, the future stretches out in front of you. And once my hundredth franchise is up and running, I will be ready to take a day off. And I'll be so glad to spend it together with you, Kazillion. I have to wait that long? How sweet. We'll work together and play together. Colonel Sanders stops dead in his tracks. Work together? Well, um, I think this is something I just need to do by myself. Well, I think I'm getting dumped. Kazillion. But who will help you run your restaurants? Well, he's giving me that tiny little eyes. I don't believe I need help. Besides, based on your time at school here, do you really think running restaurants is the best path forward? Huh? Could it be you found a love connection but failed to earn Colonel Sanders' respect as your chef? Oh, damn. Can you live with only half of him? Will you be able to enjoy sharing him with his other love? Life of an ent entrepreneur? So, you know, I suppose I could enroll at a pastry school. Oh, my dear Cassilian, I'm sure that you will find your place eventually. And along the way, you will have me by your side. Well, we're all going to be together, but in a while. Not business partner, relationship. The end. Or oh, is it? No, it's the end. KFC presents. Well, that was great. Played it. Job done. Thank you for watching. 
Bye.